apparently he wants some. Oh! Mercy! Yo, Worldwide with a Mic, episode 4. Today's June 13th, 2023. NBA Finals just concluded yesterday. We got your champs, Denver Nuggets. Crazy game. We're going to go over that. We got some other news, some trade rumors, NBA draft next week. Whole lot going on. Um, first things first, congrats to the Nuggets, Jokic, Murray. You know, for all the people saying, no, oh, this is one of the worst finals ever. Like, when they start playing those packages at the end, like Jokic growing up, Murray shooting with his dad and shit. Like, come on, how can you not love that shit? I mean, this is one of the, I guess, less superstar field finals but you gotta love the basketball being played man um i mean just from the get-go denver was kind of struggling you know rare turnovers they're shooting pretty bad missing free throws uh christian brown missed like four free throws in a row uh he were doing all right they weren't you know shooting the lights out or nothing you had bam going crazy bam was like just taking long strikes you know he has long ass arms Pretty much just throwing it in the basket, like how kind of like how Jokic does. He's kind of took a took a page from his book, which I love. Hope he does that a lot next season, cause the Heat were pretty much struggling without that. I mean, just pretty much bam in the first half. I think they went up seven, and the second half, you know, Nuggets do what they do. They just get so many three opportunities, and those dudes are not missing in Denver with the championship on the line. Uh, I'm glad it kind of went down to the wire because we usually, when, like, a team has a chance to win the championship, for some reason, there's always, like, a blowout happening. Like, I'm trying to think of, like, recent memory where a team has a chance to win a championship with, like, a minute left and scores, like, tied or they're up by two. I'm Like, maybe the Cavs, like, in 2016, like, I want some exciting shit like that to happen, which kind of did um, pretty much, what was it? The Nuggets went up by... Three, uh, there was a minute left. They okay. Let's let's rewind though, because I've I've been seeing a lot of flack on Jimmy Butler for not showing up these past couple games. Maybe the whole finals, if you want to say. But um, you know, I'll give respect where it's due. He went out like one of those old western movies. You know, they're just going down, and getting shot at, but they shooting back. I'm glad he, you know he. The fourth quarter turned up. They the commentators are talking about. All right, I don't care about the ankle. It's time for Jimmy to turn up. That's exactly what he did. He hit two straight threes. I was like, oh, okay, okay. This is what I want to see. Like, you can just tell those are just straight from, like, heart. Like, he's just putting everything in his mind to get those in because, you know, he's not a shooter. So, you know, he hits those two threes. He goes for a third one, but he gets fouled. And a lot of people were questioning that. I mean, it could really go both ways. If you ask me, the refs just called it a foul so the score could be closer to make it more interesting in my opinion, and I mean, he did, like, shoot, his leg kicked out a little, but, like, you're allowed to kick out your leg to a certain extent, not a lot, to where you kick the opposing player, but, like, you know, Kyle Corver, he kicks his leg out, like, now it's not even in the way of trying to get a foul, it's just, like, good shooters do that to, like, get, like, a stride while they shoot, you know, it's not, it wasn't, I, he, I, he was definitely trying to draw a foul, though, but, so, yeah, he had nine straight points from the two threes and then he finished a three-point play and then right after that he didn't hit like a two and yeah it was just going back and forth at that point and then he hit another two so it was like 13 straight points from jimmy i'm like okay like he's going out like he's going out on his own terms bro he's not shining away i've seen so many superstars give up that last shot because you know they don't want to be ridiculed for it but i had all respect in the world of jimmy butler he brought him this far they ended the season with him. He, they needed a three for, uh, to tie up the game with, like, a minute left. He took the shot, man. I mean, people were saying, oh, you should have took it too. But they, nobody in that situation, they don't know what to do, bro. I mean, you don't know for certain what's going to happen. If you miss the two, then you missed a chance at a three. Like, he, he, he almost made it. He almost banked it off. But he, like, a fadeaway turnaround three. Respect Jimmy, man. Went out like a dog. And then, you know, the whole free throw game at the end. Um, he did throw it away at like one of the later plays. I mean, man, I don't, he just drove in and just stopped his dribble. I at this point, you really can't stop your dribble in there. It's like a death sentence. You know, someone stole the wall like right away. 
Uh, like, yeah, him and Kyle Lowry, Jimmy Butler, they went out like, you know, the players they are, man. I mean, all respect. They brought their team to the finals. Nobody thought this would happen. You know, at some point, it was going to have to end, you know. Um, other than that, Denver Nuggets, you got Aaron Gordon. Nasty block on Kyle Lowry. You had uh, KCP making shots, Bruce Brown. Uh, Bruce Brown had a big rebound to put the Nuggets up by more. You know, their role players came to play. Can't say the same for the Heat, but, you know, they got a better team around them. Can't blame them at all. Uh, The rest were letting them play, man. I mean, it was getting real physical down there. Uh, Kyle Lowry got kicked in the face. Uh, I'm trying to think of other plays that happened. Like, that's what I like to see. I saw a lot of people complaining on Twitter. It's just like, bro, this is how basketball is supposed to be played, man. I mean, you never want nobody to get hurt, but like, nobody got hurt from that. I mean, come on. I would like to see more games being played like that. Um, at the start, Aaron, Aaron Gordon and Jokic got into foul trouble. That's pretty much why the heat went up. Other than that, yeah, it was pretty much all Denver. Uh, at some point, they put in DeAndre Jordan. You know, respect to him. You know, he was one of my favorite players growing up. Like, he was a part of that Lob City team. That was, like, my whole childhood. You know, the Lob City versus the Lakers. Lob City versus Spurs. Uh, weird choice. They put in DeAndre Jordan instead of Thomas Bryant. I feel like that was, like, a slap in the face. Like, uh, okay. I like, guess Thomas Bryant might have done better. He he does really good on offense whenever he's in. But uh, I think DeAndre Jordan got a block on Bam. So, you know. Respect to him. First of the, he might be the only person from that Lob City trio to get a rings, you know. Shout out to him. Uh, last game of the year, man. I mean, that's pretty sad. We're going to have to wait shh, a couple months, four, three, four months. So, some basketball. We got the NBA draft next week. Uh, finals MVP. Got to be Jokic. He did not care at all. Uh, that celebration was cool to watch. Uh, yeah, Mike Malone getting tossed up by his, Jokic's brothers. Uh, Jokic is not caring about anything. They asked him about the parade. He's like, no, nah, I just want to go home, which is like, mm, that's kind of disrespectful <laughs> to, like, the fans. That's, like, a big thing for them, but, you know, whatever. Uh, is he top five center all time? I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't say that. I think six, top six for sure. I can't think of a six centers better than him. Uh, I think it's between him, him and Hakeem. That's not getting him in the top five. I think Hakeem is just a little better at the moment. Hakeem got two championships, one MVP. Jokic got two MVPs, one championship. But Hakeem also got Defense Player of the Year. And, you know, Hakeem had a little less hope than Jokic has. So, at the moment, I'm going to give it to Hakeem. But I'm sure Jokic could pass him up to another chip, another MVP. Um, Yeah, Murray was looking real sad, you know, emotional. Just happy to see that, man. After, you know, he tore his ACL and all that, came back. All the bubble, he fought all the bubble act allegations, you know. Cool story to see. i seen that they all, like, jumped him in the pool or something. You know, the championship celebration, that's always cool to see. Uh, Mike Malone said, we're not going for one. We're going for more. I don't I don't see how they can't. I mean, shoot. They bring the same team back, they'll be fine. I mean, they got some players up for deals, but I can't imagine... Some of them leaving. Like, well, Bruce Brown, he's going to get more money. Like, I know he was on a one-year deal. What, you want to get, like, 60 mil from the Pistons? I mean, if you want to do that. But you can really bring the same team back with for multiple years. Uh, So, yeah, shout-out Nuggets, 2023 champs. Uh, In other news, we got some trade rumors. We got the Trailblazers looking to shop their third pick for someone to pair with Dame, which is so stupid. They should just draft someone. Trade Dame, get it all over with, because they got the third pick. Uh, Brandon Miller's looking looking Hornets mound, which is stupid on their part too. The Hornets, like I would definitely draft Scoot, but if Brandon Miller's really going to the Hornets and Scoot's available for the Trailblazers, you gotta pick him, bro. That leaves him with three guards, but then from there, trade Dame, trade trade Dame for something, bro. You can get a good core out of that, that and Scoot. Uh, from what I've seen, Brandon Ingram for the third pick, which is like Dame and Brandon Ingram, I guess, bro. But like, I don't see how that's winning the championship. You know, they still got the rest of the roster to fill out. They have a chance to get guard the draft like another franchise player right there in front of them. 
And then, you know, damn, he doesn't want to leave, but he's been hinting at it. Like, you know, at this point, whatever. Like, he's giving, like, I don't give a fuck attitude towards the situation, you know. But, you know, if I'm trouble as a straight dame, draft scoop, that's the only decision to make. And they really don't have much time to make this. I mean, draft's like in a week. So we're probably going to see the what happens there. Um, other news, Chris Paul waived. I haven't talked about that yet. I have a feeling, well, it wasn't official yet. That's the thing. Uh, I forgot who it was. They just tweeted some wrong information. Like, they just jumped the gun because he wasn't actually waived at the moment. But, you know, places I could see him going to, if he does actually get waived, people are saying the Spurs, man. I wouldn't mind that at all. You know, him and Vic, uh, if, I, if I'd say so, our point guard is probably one of the spots that's not solidified. I mean, we got Trey Jones, but I would love him off the bench or Chris Paul off the bench. I'll just make us even better because I'm not trying to take again next season. I want Chris Paul, Vic, Jeremy Sohan. Like, he has so many pieces around him. They'll they fuck around and make the playoffs with him, man. So, I'd like to see him there. I've seen Lakers. You always see Lakers, though. So, I mean, who knows there. Uh, he could sign a minimum deal and then they still get Kyrie or something. You never know there. Uh, Fred Van Vliet, free agent. Don't know where he goes. I mean, what team? I can't really think of a team that needs a point guard at the moment, if you ask me. Uh, you know, free agency, we'll get into that. I, I got another video coming out about what what the teams need in free agency. I, I'll put that out later. Uh, Conor McGregor knocks out a mascot. I just wrote that in my notes. I forgot that even happened. Sends him to the ER. That's crazy. I mean, yeah, it's good publicity for UFC, man. Uh, if y'all saw the fights last weekend, Amanda Nunez retired. Crazy fight. By crazy, I mean boring. One of the worst main events I've ever seen. Um, they had the other girl. I didn't know much about her. I mean, before, I was looking at her record, you know, before the fight and all that. Yeah, apparently, she wasn't no slouch, but then just turning to a zombie. Like, she was getting turned into a punching bag by Amanda. And she was supposed to fight Juliana Peña. But that fight got canceled, and I guess Juliana said, oh, you're ducking me by retiring. I feel like we haven't seen the last of her. She might just unretire, you know, go on that whole tour, because nobody really retires nowadays. But um, other other notes, not much, man. I mean, the finals happened. There's an airplane going above me. Um, oh, yeah, Tyler Hero never played. He was available the whole time. Uh, he, they did say, uh, Spolcher that, you know, it wasn't a for sure thing, but I thought he would, like, the last minutes when they needed someone, I, I would have put him in. Like, fuck it, man. I mean, he's not gonna break his hand again. Uh, Cody Zeller, he came in, bro, I don't know if y'all remember this, Cody Zeller came in for, like, a, a minute, immediately <laughs> seven point turnaround for the Nuggets. I think Jokic, like, scored on him, and then he missed, like, a putback <laughs> or something like that. I was like, oh, man, Cody... You know, he's cool in my book. You know, he was hitting the parlays, but damn. <laughs> um, yeah, man, he lose. Oh, LeBron dunk contest. We got some some information about why he never did it. Apparently, his reasoning was, oh, that's never something I wanted to do. Which, what? <laughs> that makes no sense. Nobody really expects to, oh, I'm going to come into the league. I'm going to win the dunk contest. Nobody says that. They just do it, man. People want to do it, so they do it. I think he's just ducking. Uh you know, obviously now he can't do it. I mean, he could, but at this point, if he would have done it in his prime and he would have lost, it would have been like, well, it's LeBron. I mean, he, he got better things to do anyway. Like, nobody would have cared, you know. Now it's just like, oh, they're going to be like, calling him washed. They're going to be like clowning him and shit. Like, he should have did it about 10 years ago. You know, 2013, that would have been a fire nut contest. He had Blake Griffin, LeBron. Are you serious? And it would have just been for fun. Man. And now it's just like anybody who doesn't make a dunk is just going to get ridiculed like nah it's not as fun but yeah um, weird duck I wouldn't have even commented on that if they asked me that I mean really don't got an excuse for it um appreciate y'all for listening though these episodes be getting shorter and shorter it's just the fact that the season's over you know and not much to talk about but what's free to see the draft I'm gonna get an NBA mock draft uh on the next week's episode we're gonna go through at least the first round uh, some second round sleepers, trades that might be happening, get a full breakdown of some people coming in. I, I, I like some people 
We got uh, Jordan Walsh, Keontae George, just some people I'm looking at. But, uh, yeah, man, appreciate y'all for listening. Shout out to Devin Nuggets, 2023 champs. Season is wrapped up. I will see y'all next week for some draft coverage. Peace.